Okay, so let's start the class. In the last class, uh, we stopped at Ampere circuital law, right? And we did say that. That if you have a current carrying wire, agar aapke paas mein koi bhi current carrying wire hai, you can draw an Amperean loop. An Amperean loop can be of any shape which basically encloses this wire. So this law basically then states that there will be a magnetic field produced. And for that magnetic field, if you take the line integral over this closed line here, which will be basically this dl will represent integration over this path here that would be equal to mu times i here i have shown one wire one wire if you had multiple wires let's say this one has i1 this has i2 and let's say you had one more wire i3 and so on then it would be summation of all the currents basically then you will have to write i1 plus i2 plus i3 so but for simplicity let's assume that there is just one wire which is carrying current over here and from here then we did derive it in the differential form where we said that del cos b is basically equal to mu naught j. Now the problem with this circuital law is that it only takes into account the cases where there is no piling up of charges at any place. An example of that is this wire. Let's say I have this wire here and this is your Amperean loop. Now, for Amperean loop, you need to draw a surface and this current has to basically pierce through that surface, right? This is how the Amperean loop is defined. So now what you can do the, is that you can draw a surface for which the boundary is given by this line over here and that surface could be simply this surface. here, And you will have this equal to being a mu naught i here. Also, there is another way of drawing the surface for which the boundary is this one. I can draw a surface of this type also. Right? Or you can simply take a surface which is a bit more pleasant looking. Now, if you take this second surface here, the boundary of this surface is given again by the same Amperean loop as was in the case one. For this surface also, the boundary is given by this Amperean loop. And you will still have B dot DL is equal to mu naught I. Because your current is piercing through this surface at this point here. In the third case, I can draw a surface which would look something like this. For this surface also, this condition would be satisfied. Because for this surface also, this current I is piercing the surface at this point here. Now we are okay with this scenario, but let's assume what would happen if you have a capacitor somewhere. And let's say you had drew an Amperean loop at this point. Now, let me draw two different situations here. It's the same capacitor, imagine. And you still have the same Amperean loop, which was this one. It's exactly similar Amperean loops are here. Now, if for this Amperean loop, I can simply draw a surface, which would be something like this. And let's say I is the current which is flowing through this wire here. So you'll have B dot DL is equal to mu times I because this current is basically piercing through this surface and then it is flowing here. And let's say there is a positive charge here and the negative charge on this plane. But here also, I can draw a second surface, which could look something like this. Now at this second surface here, the current is never piercing this surface here. If your current is never piercing this surface, and for this surface also, the boundary of this surface is the same Amperean loop, which is this loop. Now for this particular scenario, you cannot say that your B dot DL is equal to mu naught I. This is not going to be true because there is no current which is piercing through this second surface here, which is the surface 
shown by this dashed area here. And this is where the problem arises in ampere circuital load. The problem arises because here you have charge piling up somewhere here on the capacitor plates. And hence, you can grow two surfaces and for, for both of the surfaces, for this surface also, the boundary is given by this line here. And for this bigger surface also, the boundary is given by this line. here. This current pierces this surface and it passes through it. But in the second case, current does never touches this surface here. It's like if you have a balloon, a balloon ke andar agar aapne capacitor ki plate dal di hai, balloon ka agar mouth open hai, then balloon ke kisi bhi point pe aapka wire jo current carrying hai, wo touch nahi kar rahi hai, basically. And then your ampere circuit low basically breaks down. And this is what we are talking about in the previous class. When I said that if you take divergence of this equation, which we basically derived from ampere circuit law, then you are saying that del dot del cross B is basically equal to mu naught del dot J. Now from vector rules, this scalar triple product is going to be equal to zero. But del dot j might not be equal to zero universally. And that is why your ampere circuit law breaks down. How it can be fixed? We can talk about the equation of continuity. Someone wanted me to repeat the equation of continuity. This is basically based on the principle of local charge conservation in which you are saying that you have a certain volume. Aapke paas mein ek volume hai. And that volume has a certain amount of charge in it. Us volume mein kuch amount of charge hai. Now, if the charge is flowing out of this volume, that means the charge has to flow through the surface of the volume. If I'm saying that there is some current which is coming out of this volume, that means that current has to come from the surface of this basically volume here. Now, the current is flowing at the expense of the charges. Hence, as the current flows through, flows from this volume here, there will be a reduction in the charge in the volume. Volume mein aapka jo charge hai, continuously reduce hota chala jayega. Agar aap usme se current jo hai, continuously withdraw kar rahe hai. Minus is le liya hai, as a function of time, your charge will keep on reducing. Abhi jitna charge hai, two seconds ke baad utna charge nahi rahega. Ten seconds ke baad charge will be still less. That is why the minus sign here. Now, I, we defined a current density, which was basically current per unit area. So I can write this as J dot ds, where ds is the small surfaces on this surface area, which is basically uh, bounding this volume V here. Aapke volume V ko jo bound karta hai, us surface area ke over aap apni current density ko integrate kar rahe hai. So I can write I is equal to being equal to J to DS. The second side, I can write minus D by DT. But if rho is the charge density here, charge density is charge per unit volume. So Q then I can write, rho integrated over d tau, where d tau represents a small volume element. Aapka ek bohat small volume element ko aap d tau se represent kar sakte ho. On this part of this equation, you apply fundamental theorem for divergences. Agar aap fundamental theorem, ya basically Gauss theorem, let's write the small form. या ग्रीन थ्योरम आप अप्लाई करते हो तो सरफेस इंटीग्रल को आप वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हो एंड देन यू कैन बेसिकली से दैट डेल डॉट जे ओवर वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल एंड आई कैन टेक दिस आल्सो इनसाइड हियर बीटा यू आर इंटीग्रेटिंग इट ओवर वॉल्यूम so time does not have anything to do with the space coordinates. You can take it inside the integral and you can take it out of the integral as per your convenience. Now from here, you can say that del dot J is equal to minus curly rho by curly T. That means del dot J is not equal to zero universally. 
ऐसा यूनिवर्सली ट्रू नहीं होगा कि आपका डेल डोट जे है वो जीरो के इक्वल हो इफ यू आर पाइलिंग अप चार्जेस समवेयर और यू आर टेकिंग आउट चार्जेस फ्रॉम सम वॉल्यूम कंटिन्यूसली देन योर डेल डोट जे विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस करली रो बाई करली टी जेबेयर जे इज योअर करंट डेंसिटी रो इज योअर चार्ज डेंसिटी करंट डेंसिटी इज करंट पर यूनिट एरिया चार्ज डेंसिटी इज चार्ज पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम so maxwell came into picture now he said that so what if this term is not zero but this term if i take plus i take this curly row by curly t on this side then this term is zero so what maxwell said that and whatever he suggested he did not had any experimental proof at that time he just said that totally on the theoretical basis and he suggested that if डेल डोट जे इज इक्वल टू माइनस करली रो बाई करली टी एंड आवर प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वी आर हैविंग समथिंग आवर प्रॉब्लम इज दैट फ्रॉम वैक्टर रूल दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो बट दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो मैक्सवल सेट दैट इफ डेल डोट जे इज नॉट जीरो but we know that irrespective of the situation this term is always equal to zero so rather than writing here del dot j he suggested that we should write here mu time mu not del dot j plus curly rho by curly again he suggested this totally on the hypothetical theoretically basis there was no experimental proof for this addition of the term here his only argument is that del dot j is not equal to 0 but we know that this is equal to 0 so let's replace replace del dot j with this term here now from vector rule your this term is equal to 0 and this term is equal to 0 from the equation of continuity hence your left hand side is equal to 0 as well as your right hand side is equal to 0 both of them are equal to each other now what we would like to do is that this del dot term we would like like to take it common and humne jo maxwell uh, ampere circuit law se jo derive kiya tha where we did write that del cross b is equal to mu not j is wali equation ko we would like to edit in such a way that we can take this term also into account how that can be done come back to this equation of continuity it suggests that del dot j plus curly rho by curly t is equal to 0 first equation maxwell's first equation says that del dot e is equal to rho upon epsilon not and let's call this as equation 1 so this means that i can say that rho is equal to del dot epsilon not e epsilon not is a constant aap usko divergence ke andar bahar jahan chahe wahan leke ja sakte ho this means that from here curly rho by curly t is equal to del dot epsilon not ko aap chaho to bahar rakh do chaho to aap andar bhi rakh sakte ho i can say that epsilon not curly e by curly t क्योंकि डेल है वो सिंपली स्पेस कोऑर्डिनेटर पे डिपेंड करता है एफ एन और कॉन्स्टेंट है तो अगर आप रो का विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम डेरिवेटिव लोगे सिंपली इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड का विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम डेरिवेटिव आपका आएगा सो दैट मीन्स करली रो बाई करली टी को आई कैन रीराइट यूजिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन और आई कैन देन हियर से दैट डेल डोट जे प्लस डेल डोट एफ डाइवर्जेंस लिया था लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड में देन आई कैन से दैट डेल डोट डेल क्रोस बी इज इक्वल टू म्यू नोट हमने कहा डेल डोट जे की बजाय वी शुड राइट डेल डोट जे प्लस करली रो बाई करली टी विच इज नथिंग बट दिस एक्सप्रेशन ही सो आई कैन देन राइट इट एज 
डेल डोट जे प्लस डेल डोट एफ सेल एन करली ई वाई करली टी डेल डोट डेल क्रोस बी इज इक्वल टू यहां पे भी आपके पास डेल डोट है यहां पे भी आपके पास डेल डोट है टेक इट आउट डेल डोट म्यू नोट जे प्लस म्यू नोट एफ सेल नोट करली ई बाई करली टी सिंपली मैंने डेल डोट को बाहर निकाल दिया है क्योंकि वो आपके जे के साथ में भी था और इसके साथ में भी था दोनों तरफ डेल डोट बाहर की तरफ है कॉमन आउट ले दो यू कैन से दैट नाउ डेल क्रॉस बी इज इक्वल टू म्यू नोट जे प्लस म्यू नोट एफ सेल नोट कर ली ई बाई कर ली टी एंड दिस इज बेसिकली यूर मैक्स वर्स फोर्थ इक्वेशन इन डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म That your del cross B is equal to mu naught J plus mu naught epsilon naught curly E by curly T. You might have read it in this form: mu naught J C plus J D, where J C is called as your conduction current, and J D, which is not actually a current, but nonetheless it is named as displacement current, and this is equal to epsilon naught curly E by curly T. so you might have read this expression in this form that your del cross b would be equal to this term here mu naught jc plus jd here and this was the addition the second term here was the addition which was done by maxwell and again i am repeating that totally on theoretical grounds there was no experimental evidence for this but the impact of adding this term was so huge the reason being that now you are saying that del cross b is equal to mu naught j plus epsilon naught curly e by curly t as per the initial three equation first equation says that del dot e is equal to rho upon epsilon naught second equation says that del dot b is equal to zero third equation says that del cross e is equal to Minus curly b by curly t. Before Maxwell, fourth equation was basically del cross b being equal to mu naught j. So, and this was the fourth equation, which was after Maxwell introduced the additional term here, and this is. Fourth Maxwell equation. Now, before Maxwell, when this equation was there, you are saying that you can change the magnetic field as a function of time, and you can generate the electric field. But its reverse is not true. None of these equations suggest that you can change the electric field and produce the magnetic field. Let me repeat that. From equation three, you are claiming that you can have a time-varying magnetic field, and then you can produce an electric field. but its reverse is not true there none of these equation says that if you can change the electric field as a function of time you can generate the magnetic field hence electricity and magnetism were two different fields but once maxwell introduced this additional term here now you are claiming that if you change the electric field then you can generate the magnetic field also and hence electric field and magnetic field are kind of equivalent to each other and the addition of this term here basically unified electricity and magnetism and electromagnetism came into picture because now you are saying that okay you can change the magnetic field as a function of time generate the electric field but its reverse is also true you can have a time varying electric field and then you can produce magnetic field also and that is from where electromagnetism came into picture electricity and magnetism were unified into a single field now let's go back to the capacitor problem how does this fixes the capacitor problem here let me rewrite this equation in a slightly 
different form which is equivalent to ampere circuital law now what i am going to say is that let's integrate it over the surface area on both sides mu naught constant hai yahan pe agar aap iske across integrate kar doge plus epsilon naught integrate kijiye over area in this side also तीनों तरफ मैंने विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सरफेस एरिया इंटीग्रेट कर दिया है दिस फ्रॉम फंडामेंटल थ्योरम ऑफ कर्ल्स से इज दैट इफ यू कैन हैव एनी वेक्टर एंड अगर आप उसका सरफेस इंटीग्रल करते हो दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू द वैल्यू ऑफ द वेक्टर एट द बाउंड्री this was your fundamental theorem of curls so this equation then i can write in this form which is similar to your ampere circuital law mu naught current density surface ke over integrate karenge to aapke paas mein i aa jayega and now you have an additional term in your ampere circuital law which is this term this will be you have modified ampere circuital law where you have this term but you have one more additional term also let's talk about the capacitor problem the initial problem that we had ma'am can you please show the previous slide haan ji bachche thank you ma'am so now your ampere circuital law says that and this is modified ampere circuital law after addition of maxwell's term there has to be mu naught i here this mu naught was common here on both of the terms right this was del cross b being equal to mu naught jc plus jd so this was common here mu naught was everywhere common so you have mu naught epsilon naught integration curly e over curly t dot ds let's again draw an amperian loop and for that amperian loop let's say you have the positive charges on this plate and the negative charges on this plate and this is your surface one second time as was in the previous case and again this boundary and this boundary is same even though this is slightly smaller but just ignore the poor drawing here and let me draw again another surface here and this is the second surface now for the second surface also the boundary is the same this boundary and for the first surface also the boundary is the same here now for the first surface your second term curly e by curly t is zero there is no change in the electric field as a function of time so for the first surface this is all okay you have this now for the second surface we need to prove that your this is basically equal to first surface which is equal to mu naught i tabhi aapka ek uniformity is rule mein rahegi that irrespective of the surface that you choose kisi bhi aise surface ki jiski boundary same rahegi uske agar aap over line integral karoge it has to remain the constant that means case 1 or case 2 dono mein ye ek dusre ke equal aane chahiye now for the second surface सेकेंड सरफेस को करंट कहीं पे भी पियर्स नहीं कर रहा है सो योर आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर द सेकेंड सरफेस कहीं पे भी करंट कैरिंग वायर सेकेंड सरफेस को टच नहीं कर रही है हेंस योर करंट इज जीरो प्लस यू हैव द सेकेंड टर्म ही
remember if you are charging the capacitor or you are discharging the capacitor your electric field is going to keep changing continuously as a function of time now in this expression here if you talk about the electric field parallel plate capacitor mein electric field kitna hoga aapka sigma by epsilon sigma by epsilon naught sigma aapki surface charge density hai right agar main charge ki form mein likhu i'll write it in this form where q is the charge on the plates a is the area of the plates right sigma is q upon a it is the surface charge density this is your electric field now if i write curly e by curly t electric field is of course a vector quantity area aapka constant hai epsilon naught bhi constant hai capacitor ki plates ke upar charge jo hai wo aapka continuously change ho raha hai so i can write it in this form and this is curly q by curly t you can write it as i rate of change of charge is basically current now this equation here then i can write line integral of b dot dl is equal to mu not epsilon not a upon epsilon not i dot ds now here is the thing electric field jo hoga wo aapka agar ye mera area element hai electric field jo hai wo plate ke perpendicular hoga area ka unit vector bhi aap aise define karte ho agar aap koi bhi area define karte ho wo unit vector jo hoga area ka wo aap is direction mein define karte ho right hence here i can draw write a unit vector also and that unit vector will have the same direction as is the direction of the area unit vector here so this from here your epsilon will cancel each other out Cha current integrated over surface area surface area agar aap iske small small segments leke over area agar aap isko integrate karna start kar doge you will get a here you are integrating it over area ideally i should electric field ek vector hai ideally i should write a unit vector here and that unit vector is the unit vector in the direction of electric field and direction of electric field and direction of area would be same here so a and ds they are in the same direction basically dono ka dot product loge cos zero aayega which will be equal to 1 here a se a aapka cancel ho gaya this came equal to mu not i so in the second case also when you have drawn a surface which does not touch this current carrying wire you still have the line integral of magnetic field it being equal to mu not i hence now irrespective of the surface area that you choose chahe aap is tarah ka surface area choose karo ya aap sorry it should not touch the plate इस तरह का सरफेस एरिया चूज करो एनी रैंडम सरफेस एरिया बाउंड्री इज गिवन बाय द सेम एम्पीरियर लोड योर बी डॉट डीएल इंटीग्रल वुड बी इक्वल टू म्यू नोट आई एंड दिस इज हाउ द सेकंड टर्म बेसिकली फिक्स द कैपेसिटी प्रॉब्लम आल्सो मैन हां जी समन हैज सम डाउट इन द केस टू मैम व्हाई वी टुक करंट एज जीरो बिकॉज़ यहां पे आपका इस सरफेस को एज सच करंट कहीं पे भी टच नहीं कर रहा है इस सरफेस को करंट कहीं पे भी पियर्स करके नहीं जा रहा है मैम दैट स्मॉल सर्कल ऑन द राइट देयर इट इज कमिंग द करंट इज कमिंग आउट यस मैम इट इज नॉट टचिंग इट अज्यूम अ बलून बलून का माउथ के थ्रू आपने एक वायर उसके सेंटर के थ्रू पास करा दी है ओके okay, मैम it's because i'm drawing it in 2d so it seems as if it is, is it touching it but okay. it's like aap ek balloon lo ek bar balloon ka jo mouth hai usko close kar do to wo aapka case one ka surface area ho gaya second time aap balloon ko blow kar do wo blow jab aapne balloon ko kar diya hai to blow karne ke baad mein bhi uska jo blow surface jo bhi koi aapka surface area hoga uski boundary hai wo still uska mouth hoga balloon ka okay so this wire is 
not touching any surface in case two. So now you have four Maxwell's equation. Thank you. The first Maxwell equation, which says that you can have electric magnet, electric monopole, you can have separate positive charge or separate negative charge, which basically says that del dou T is equal to rho upon epsilon. The second Maxwell equation says that magnetic monopoles do not exist, hence the divergence of magnetic field is always equal to zero. The third Maxwell equation says that if you have a time varying magnetic field, you can produce an electric field using that. The fourth Maxwell equation says that if you have a time varying electric field, you can produce a magnetic field also. Now these are your four Maxwell's equation in differential form. Now we are going to talk about electromagnetic waves in free space. We'll do the proper derivation. We'll prove that electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature now. We'll prove that they travel with the speed of light. We'll prove that these uh, two conditions for vacuum or for free space. And then we'll say that if they are true in the free space, if your electromagnetic waves are transverse in free space, then when we are going to talk about conducting medium, which could be, for example, your copper, ho, ho sakta aapka, ya non conducting bhi hai. Even if it is wood or if it is stainless steel, in that case also we'll say that agar humne vacuum mein prove kar diya transverse hai, to har ek medium mein wo transverse hai. We are going to stick with that assumption here. So now if we talk about free space or vacuum, Free space or vacuum means that a space which is free of all the charges and currents. That is meant by the free space. That means there are no charges and there are no currents. If there are no charges, that means your charge density is equal to zero. If there are no currents, that means your current density is equal to zero in that. Hence, your Maxwell equations in free space would be del dot E is equal to zero because you are saying rho is equal to zero. Second equation would stay as it is, del dot B is equal to zero. Third equation would stay as it is, del cross E is equal to minus curly B by curly T. And the fourth equation would become del cross B is equal to mu naught j is equal to zero because you are saying that there are no currents also present. So your j is equal to zero and you have mu naught epsilon naught curly e by curly t. So this will, these will be your Maxwell's equation in free space or vacuum. And by saying free space or vacuum, we mean to say that there are no charges and no currents present in that particular system. Now, if we talk about these equations, Let's now I'm always going to call this as equation one, equation two, equation three, and equation four. Equation three says that del cross E, we are going to prove that your velocity is equal to C. Your electromagnetic waves, they travel with the speed of light. This is equal to this here. And Fourth equation says that del cross B is equal to mu naught epsilon naught curly E by curly T. I'm going to do this one with one equation, with equation three or equation four. Dusri equation ke saath, you need to do it yourself. I am saying that take curl of this equation three. You have to do exactly the same step with equation four also. You will have this here. Since I said that 
डेल ऑपरेटर इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ टाइम तो जब मैं इस साइड में कर लूंगी तो करली बाई करली टी को वी कैन टेक आउट एंड आई कैन टेक डेल क्रोस बी इन साइड बिकॉज यूर टाइम एंड स्पेस कोर्डिनेट आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इच अदर यू कैन डू द एग्जैक्टली सेम ऑन दिस साइड ऑल्सो वेक्टर ट्रिपल प्रोडक्ट का रूल यहाँ पे लगाइए ए क्रॉस बी क्रॉस सी बी ए सी माइनस सी ए बी राइट यहाँ पे अगर आपका ए है ये बी है ये सी है यू से दैट दिस विल बी बी ए माइनस यू विल हैव दिस राइट simply your vector triple product rule is equal to minus curly by curly t del cross b ki jo value hai plug it in from equation number 4 del cross b is equal to mu not epsilon not curly by curly t why i am doing that i want to have this equation totally in terms of electric field i want to get the rid of magnetic field term here and that is why i am going to replace del cross b with a term which has electric field in it so i can write del cross b being equal to mu not epsilon not curly e by curly t do the same with this also you will get del dot b minus del dot del b is equal to mu not epsilon not करली बाई करली टी डेल क्रॉस ई की अब वैल्यू दिस इक्वेशन वी वुड लाइक टू हैव एब्सोल्यूटली इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अब डेल क्रॉस ई की वैल्यू इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री से प्लग इन कर दीजिए यहाँ पे जो कि आपकी माइनस करली बी बाई करली टी है डेल क्रॉस ई इक्वेशन वन से इज दैट इन फ्री स्पेस डेल डोट ई इज इक्वल टू जीरो del dot e is equal to 0 del dot b is equal to 0 so your first term is 0 and you have minus del dot del e is equal to minus bahar nikal diye dijiye mu not epsilon not curly square e by curly t square curly by curly t ek yahan pe hai ek aapka yahan pe hai similarly del dot b to 0 hai यहां पे भी आपके पास बच गया जीरो डेल डोट डेल बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस म्यू नोट एफ सेल नोट करली बाई करली टी टू टाइम्स हो गया तो आपका सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव मैग्नेटिक फील्ड का आ गया लुक एट बोथ ऑफ दीज इक्वेशन दे आर एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर टू ईच अदर एक जगह सिर्फ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड है एक जगह आपका मैग्नेटिक फील्ड है सो इफ यू आर आस्ट इन यूर एग्जाम to prove that electromagnetic waves they travel with the speed of light you can just just do the one derivation ya to aap ye wala kar dijiye ya ye wala kar dijiye and then you can simply write one line similarly for the other field which can be either electric field or magnetic field you get the exact same expression here there is something now i need to tell you this del dot del let's end this here itself i'll just stick to now electric field only i'll not do the magnetic field because magnetic field is going to show exactly the same behavior as will be shown by the electric field kyunki dono ki equation exactly similar hai ek dusre ki to jaisa aapka electric field ka behavior rahega exactly similar behavior aapka magnetic field ka bhi rahega del dot del is basically saying that you have this and dot product with itself dot product lenge x ka unit vector ka sirf x ke sath hi aapka one aayega so you will be left with curly square over curly x square plus curly square by curly y square plus curly square over curly z square 
क्योंकि आपके पास जो टर्म बचेगी दैट वुड बी करली बाई करली एक्स ऑफ करली बाई करली एक्स ये वाली टर्म आपके पास बचेगी विच इज बेसिकली नथिंग बट करली स्क्र बाई करली एक्स स्क्र एंड करली स्क्र बाई करली वाई स्क्र करली स्क्र बाई करली सेट स्क्र एंड दिस इज कोल्ड एज डेल स्क्र जिसको कि लैपलेस ऑपरेटर भी बोलते हैं ये बेसिकली इंस्ट्रक्शन देता है इसके बाद जो भी टर्म आएगी उसको आप डबल डिफ्रेंशिएट कर दीजिए लैपलेस ऑपरेटर इज बेसिकली डोट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ डेल ऑपरेटर विद इट्सल्फ डेल ऑपरेटर का खुद के साथ डोट प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट अगर आप करा देते हो उसको हम डेल स्क्र राइट करते हैं उसको हम बोलते हैं लैपलेस ऑपरेटर एंड लैपलेस ऑपरेटर बेसिकली गिवस यू इंस्ट्रक्शन कि आपके इसके बाद में जो भी फंक्शन फॉलो करेगा उसका आपको सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव करना है सो दिस मीन्स दैट हियर स्टिकिंग टू द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड माइनस से माइनस कैंसिल हो गया आपका डेल स्क्र ई इज इक्वल टू म्यू नोट एफ सेल एन नोट करली स्क्र ई बाई करली टी स्क्र ये आपकी एक सेकेंड ऑर्डर इक्वेशन आ गई है जिसको कि हमको सोल्व करना है इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड के लिए और अगर मैं ये प्रूव कर देती हूं कि इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ट्रेवल्स विद स्पीड ऑफ लाइट देन बेस्ड ऑन द सिमिलर लॉजिक वी कैन से दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आल्सो ट्रेवल्स विद द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट और अगर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आर गोइंग टू ट्रेवल विद द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट देन यूर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव आर मेड अप ऑफ ओसिलेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड हैंस your electromagnetic waves are also going to travel with the speed of light how we do that just write down this equation somewhere we'll pick up with this equation in the next class but i would like to give you some assignment before the next class you might know how do you write a traveling wave kaise write karte hain aap traveling wave ko aise write karte hain yes ma'am or you can write this also in this form or you can also write in this form also kisi bhi form mein aap likh sakte hain now before coming for the next class take the second order derivative with respect to x of any of these term three terms whichever you like and take the second order derivative with respect to time aur in dono ke beech mein kya relationship hoga just find out that relationship and can you prove that that this is equal to omega square over k square multiplied by this term you need to prove this या तो ये वाला एक्सप्रेशन ले लीजिए या ये वाला एक्सप्रेशन ले लीजिए या ये वाला एक्सप्रेशन ले लीजिए किसी का भी टू टाइम्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स डिफ्रेंशिएट कीजिए टू टाइम्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम डिफ्रेंशिएट कीजिए और दोनों के बीच में रिलेशनशिप फाइंड आउट करने की कोशिश कीजिए आई एम क्लेमिंग दैट दिस वुड बी द रिलेशनशिप दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इफ यू टेक द सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एंड सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम नाउ ओमेगा ओवर के आई एम गोइंग टू फर्दर क्लेम that v is equal to omega over k the reason being that omega is nothing but 2 pi by t k is nothing but 2 pi by lambda 2 pi se agar aap 2 pi cancel kar de 1 upon t is nothing but frequency frequency multiplied by wavelength is equal to velocity so i am further claiming that i can further write this as this as ये आप सभी लोग नेक्स्ट क्लास में आने से पहले खुद से प्रूव करके आइए आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर आई एम गोइंग टू अज्यूम दैट यू विल डू द डेरिवेशन आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर दैट सिंस दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस एंड वी आर सेइंग दैट फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वी हैव दिस टर्म हियर एंड देन वील स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास anyone has any doubt in today's class uh, ma'am how will we prove that em wave is transverse in nature we will prove that your electric field 
is perpendicular to your magnetic field and that is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. We'll do that after proving that your velocity is equal to speed of light in electromagnetic waves. This would be our okay. next derivation after okay, this. Okay. Um, can you please share the recordings? Um, they are already there on LMS. Ek bar apne the, hai? Um, yes, but current wali puch Current wali, uh, actually there are concerns regarding the space. Wo hai. Drive, drive par agar kar sakte. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can put them on the Google Drive. We'll do that. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, sure. Um, आपकी क्लास के सीआर को बोलिए जरा मेरे को एक ईमेल रोक कर दें आई विल शेयर ऑन द सेम ईमेल ओके ओके मैम ओके और किसी को कोई और डाउट है